Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so in this uh, video, we are going to be solving this system of equation with uh, three variables. So we have x, y, and z. So if you know the simultaneous equation with two variables, uh, that's x and y. There is also another one with uh, three, three variables, which is x, y, and z. So before we can start solving, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so and share the video. Also, don't forget to comment so that I know what you're thinking about my videos, where we need to improve. Uh, we are ready to receive any comment from you. Thank you so much. All right, so let's try to solve. Uh, the first thing here, what should be coming in your mind once you come across this uh, question will be to choose among these three equations, which one is easier to work with. I think the first, uh, the middle one is uh, a little bit easier to start working with. So we'll copy it the way it looks. Okay, so this is how this equation looks. This one, I've just copied the way it looks. Next thing will be to make x subject of the formula. So when we make x subject of the formula, these three will cross the equal sign. It will be positive 3y and uh, positive 2z will be negative 2z. And here we have minus 8. So since we have this stuff here, we now get, we get it and replace it in one of our the equation so we'll start with this equation and then we'll come to this equation so we'll put it here where x is so it will be 2 okay open bracket 3y minus 2z minus 8 plus 3y plus z is equal to 17 so this is how it looks like okay we have replaced this stuff over here so now we can distribute, we can work out things here. So we have uh, 6y plus 4z, uh, my, sorry, minus 4z minus 16 plus 3y plus z is equal to 17. So we can now arrange our work, we group the like terms. Here we have 6y plus 3y minus 4z plus z is equal to 17 plus 16. At this point, these two have like terms. We can add them. Over here, it will be 3z, which is equal to 33. So we have 33 there. So this is one of our equations. So we call it equation 1. It's very important. We need to use this. So let me put it here. So equation 1 is 9y minus 3z is equal to 33. I've put it here for the purpose. We need to keep it. So let's go to the next stuff. So almost the same thing we did to this equation is what we're going to do the next equation. So we'll say 5 open bracket. Here we'll put this. 3y minus 2z minus 8 minus 2y here plus 3z is equal to 5. So almost the same thing. So we can distribute here. We have 15y minus 10z uh, minus 40 minus 2y plus 3z is equal to uh, 5. Hopefully, somebody is following what is, uh, what is happening here. I guess you people are following what is happening over here. So now we can, uh, we can group the like terms. We have 15 here. Minus 2y. 15y minus 2y minus 10z my, uh, plus 3z is equal to 5 plus 40. So this 40 crosses the equal sign. Over here, we have uh, 13y. 13y 
minus 7z is equal to 40, uh, 45. So this is the equation 2. So equation 2, we put it here. So if you can see nicely, we now have uh, the simultaneous equation. So we have simultaneous equation here. So this, uh, these two equations now can be solved by elimination. Okay, so let's apply the idea of elimination here where we need to cancel one of the variables here. So we put 13 here, 9 here. Since they have the same signs, we change one sign here, we we'll put it positive. Okay, so now here we can distribute this by this. We start multiplying, you know, solving simultaneous equation by elimination. So over here, let me start which 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 one should we start with over here when we say the uh, 9 times uh, 13 it will give us 117 y here we have 39 z is equal to here we have uh, 429 and this by this it will give us negative uh, 117 y plus okay let me get my calculator I punch nicely 39 39 times uh, uh, negative uh, what's this this is uh, actually 7 sorry 7 here negative 7 times uh, 9 and 9 times negative 9 it's a uh, positive 63 so this is the positive 63 is equal to 45 times uh, 9 we are getting 405. So now here we can add this and this will cancel. We will remain with the 24. 24z 24 over here is equal to, actually here it's supposed to be negative. So when we add these, they also give us 24. Where when we divide or when we want to remain with the, or to find the value of z, we just divide by 24 of which z is equal to 1. So we have found the value of z to be equal to 1. So since we have found the value of z, we can pick either this equation or this to solve the value of y. So we just get the one which is on top there, y, a 9y minus 3z is equal to 33. So this equation, I've just gotten it from here, from here, over here. There are two of them. So I've gotten this. If you want, you can get this or this. So since I've gotten this, I want to solve for y, I'll replace, okay, I'll replace this z with y, uh, with 1. So since we found z to be equal to 1, so I'll put it here like this, and then solve for, solve for y. So here we have 9y minus 3 is equal to 33. We group the like terms, 9y is equal to 33 plus 3. This 3 when it crosses the equal sign. So here we have 9y is equal to uh, 36. So you divide by 9, divide by 9, y is equal to uh, 36, divide by 9, it will be equal to 4. So this is 4. So we have solved for y. And Z, we're only remaining with the X. So how do you solve or how do you find the value of X? So for the value of X, you go back to the equations. Okay? You go back to the equations. So if you want, you can get this or this, whichever you want to work with. So I'll get this same one. I will say X minus 3Y plus 2Z is equal to negative 8 okay so i've just gotten this equation so now i'm going to replace the value of y i'm going to put the value of y of which we found to be equal to 4 plus 2 z we said it's 1 is equal to negative 8 so here we work out things we have uh, negative 12 plus 2 is equal to negative 8 over here x minus 10 is equal to negative 
8 because we say minus 12 plus 2 is the negative 10 so we can now group the like terms and we have something like this x will be equal to minus 8 plus 10 will be equal to 2 so now the solutions i'm going to write them here x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 1 so these are the solutions thank you so much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and watch more and more videos bye bye